I'm here with Erin Gerlach, and she has a great idea for transforming picture frames into serving trays. That's right, Julie. It's <laughs> super cool, and they're absolutely beautiful and totally custom, and you have promised me that this is unbelievably easy. It is pretty easy. Okay, well, let's we'll do it. So you want to pick a frame that's uh, wood, solid, um, if it, that's a good find. A thrift store is a great place to find these. Uh, and you're gonna start by tape, you're gonna start by taking the backer off of it. Okay. Um, and making sure that the glass doesn't interfere with the outside of the frame, because you're gonna wanna drill through it to put handles in it when you're all done with this. Um, so this, we're gonna leave the glass in, but if it's chintzy or a broken glass, obviously you wanna remove that. Um, so this. Can I take this out yes, of the way for you? Yes, you can, please. So you're gonna start by taping the frame off because you don't want to grout over the wood. And you're using a painter's tape, obviously, which means it, it will is. remove easily from that it wood is. and not harm it in any way. Correct, and then we're gonna use a two-part synthetic modeling clay. Okay, and I'll mix that for and you. And you're gonna and mix that, no marbling. That it doesn't, it remains soft until the two parts come together, Correct. right? And it Correct. is the mixing of the two mm -hmm. that causes that Correct. to then and the harden. Heat, and heat activates. Okay. Yes, heat so is good. So how do I know when I'm done with this? It's gonna be a uniform color, there's gonna be no streaking. So like the one that you're mm -hmm. using. So I'm just mixing up the same thing that you're using there, since right. yours is all the way mixed. Right, right. And I'm just gonna work in stages a little bit because I think that that's easy. Personally, I like to do things that way. It's I think sometimes when you grab a littler piece, it just means that you are able to smooth it, even though it seems like it would be quicker to just sort of smash the whole big ball right. onto there. Exactly, exactly. And I notice you even roll it out into a snake so that mm -hmm. it's kind of the right length and it's not too deep and you're just right. not having to work quite as hard. Exactly. So then I'm going to start laying my tiles in, which I put in a pattern ahead mm -hmm. of time because it's so just easy So if you're a planner, to... you can actually plan this out quite a bit. Yes and it's helpful. Now can you use any kind of tile or does it have to be like ceramic or glass or something any specific? Any kind of tile, okay. any kind of tile works. I like things that are just a little bit thicker. If you get too thin of a tile, it's hard to grout it, Okay. Um, at least with this. And so we're just tootsie rolling this in here just like that. And that just means you're putting a little snake between exactly. it to sort of be exactly. that squishy grout part. So then when you go to the next layer, you're mm -hmm. gonna do like a whole tootsie roll A long roll there. snake. Yep, you're just gonna be done with it. And mm -hmm. then that's when you're, you're, I'm seating them in here. And you wanna peel the backer off of them. Um, you know, like some of them have backers on right, them Right, like still. a big oh, mesh yeah. backing. And does yeah. that, do they just pop right off or do you have to use you, scissors or? You just or? pull them right off. Oh, well that makes me fearful for yeah. the tile in my bathroom knowing you can just pop it Well right that's off. why you grout it, Julie. <laughs> that's why you grout so it. So I noticed you actually added that little snake after you had the tile down and that's fine too. Correct. Correct, yep, you can just kind of go as you like. So you can here. do it really however you want to do it. Yep. You know, that's custom. so fun, Erin, and I find like, you know, I love it when you bring a project that allows forgiveness, that allows for mistakes, that, that <laughs> is for that beginners. Is this. That is this. But it's not gonna look like a beginner's project when we're all done with this. And that's the coolest part. Those are my favorites, when it looks like you are a professional and yet you're just trying it for, you know, out. Right. Now I know that normally you would have, you know, clay completely yep. under here to get it done. You wouldn't actually have the gonna... glass showing like that. Correct, so we're gonna go right to grouting then. And so okay. I'm just using water for this. Well, you know, to be exact, because yeah. it's a serving tray, you want it level. You can even get mm. real technical with an actual level. So if this were like gonna be a mirror that were going on the wall, or even if you actually yeah, you were doing this, this on the wall, on the wall. Yep. right? You wouldn't have to do necessarily the rolling because it just wouldn't matter if it was totally level. But because Correct. people might actually put drinks and a cheese plate or whatever right. else you want on it, right. especially wine glasses, I know I tip those over anyway. Right, so then right? you're gonna start grouting it and it takes a little, I mean, a little effort to A little elbow grease behind there. there. And all you're doing when you say grouting is you're just trying to get the clay off the tops of Correct. the tiles. Yes. Now, is there any uh, way that the water is harming the clay or you have to be careful mm -hmm. about not using too much water? Mm -hmm. Like, could you use a spritz bottle of water or would that be too much water? You, no, a spritz bottle would work great. It would work great. And so you wanna just keep working the clay until you're really happy with how the tiles look. And you can get them very, very clean. And I really like to clean them up with a solvent. Okay. Is the best way to, to really clean get them, them beautifully clean. Yeah, so. Because if you see anything on there, I assume that is permanent mm -hmm. forever on right, there. Right, right, right. So it just cleans them up really, 
really good and then you can Now we're using off. white, but could you color this with paint or does it come in other you colors? Could. Like how do you? You, you could do that. Okay. Um, it comes in a lot of different colors. So we're gonna skip over then to this tray here. Okay. Um, where it's all done and there's a center piece already done and this is already cured. So that's the nice part. Um, you can work in stages. Uh, so, so you can come you back can, the next you day, can come a back week tomorrow later. morning and mm -hmm. finish it or wake up in the middle of the night like I do sometimes. <laughs> and people find you randomly in your workspace. I've, I've been known to do that myself. You know, you never know when the creative urge will strike you. Right, right. So then you can just use a little water to smooth it and it really puts a That's nice, so nice. A it, nice edge there. And then we're going to get really fun and we're going to put some crushed glass. This is just Ooh, crushed glass in sparkles. here. Sparkles. And then we'll use a clear resin. Now, do you have to wait for the clay to cure before you pour the no, resin? No, um, no, you do not. Um, I've done it both ways, and the clay because it's like a, it's a two part. It's like the chemical reaction type of thing. Okay. It's going to cure no matter what. You're going to take a, a clear resin and equal parts A and B. So this is the same as the clay, right? Where it doesn't harden it's the same concept. until you mix both parts together. It's the same concept. Okay. So you're going to mix this one very, 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 very slowly. Why? Um, because it creates bubbles otherwise, and then oh. you'll end up with them in your finished piece. So then you'll take a, your clear resin and you'll just drizzle it and pour it as you like over the top. So cool. And is it self leveling it so you is don't have to worry? self leveling, but you don't want to touch it after you pour it. Um, that's where uh, using, again, a solvent is really helpful because if it spills out on the tiles, you can clean it up quickly um, like that, and you can actually, you know, like just push it around just like that a little bit till you're happy with it. So you definitely want to do this on a surface where you can let it sit like overnight. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so how long should we expect until it's hard to the touch? Just the next day. Okay, because next we, day, but you should really wait like 48 hours before you actually really use it. Before you actually put your mm -hmm. cheese, cheese on that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So if we look at some of the finished ones, I can see right here how that resin, I mean, it's amazing what's caught in there. The mm -hmm. tile is so beautiful. And I can't believe this was a picture frame. What about the handles? The handles are just from a hardware store, um, but you could go over with clay on the handles if you wanted to, you know, kind of sculpt with it because you can do that with it. And there's a piece down there that has um, a red W in it, and that's all hand sculpted. So the red W, which you were just talking about, you just hand sculpted that, and you told me those are bottle caps. Yeah, it's a great way to use clear resin as bottle caps and just make it something different than the crushed glass. You could use anything under there, crystals. What about this stones. yellow one? Uh, that is a beehive. Um, kind so of a cute. style and you can really get crazy with how you lay out the tiles and just kind of keep smoothing them as you go um, and then make different channels in there. So you can really be unbelievably creative. You could have the same picture frame but never have the same serving tray. Absolutely. You can even finish the frame differently if you like um, before or after. That's So you could take helpful. your frame, paint it, stencil on it, any of that kind of stuff yeah. and make it really custom from the very beginning. You could. You could. Just cover it with the tape. <laughs> This is such a cool project, Erin. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. It was fun.